On October 1, 1964, a sleek blue and white train glided effortlessly across Tokyo's urban sprawl, with its elevated tracks hauling it southwards toward Osaka. This ushered in a new era of bullet trains in Japan's infrastructure and history. This technological masterpiece of the 1960s is widely perceived as the defining emblem of the country's notable recovery from World War II trauma, marking the country's challenge for the top table of the international community in tandem with the 1964 Tokyo Olympic Games. This engineering spectacle conveyed over 10 billion passengers at speed rates of up to 320 kilometers per hour, contributing to the creation of the world's third largest economy. Unsatisfied, Japan's insatiable ambition has led to the nation developing what would be the world's fastest passenger train, which would be designed to travel at twice the speed of present bullet trains and slash travel duration down by half. To accomplish this, these new trains will eliminate wheels to incorporate magnetic levitation to allow the trains to glide 10 centimeters above the ground, completely nullifying friction caused by rail contact. Like all other ambitious marvels, this ingenious technology has proven to be highly contentious, coming loaded with a pack of issues including delays, a soaring cost of construction, and a raging debate over environmental concerns. Trains are nothing new to the Japanese, who have always had a fascination with this mode of transport. Evidently, with the construction of the Takedo Shinkansen line between Tokyo and Osaka in 1959, Japan was the first country in the world to develop high-speed rail. At the time, the Japanese, along with the rest of the world, were uncertain and concerned about the nation's heavy investment in rail, believing that it would become obsolete in the innovative era of air transport and highways. All the same, the first high-speed line opened in October 1964, just in time for Tokyo's first Olympic Games. This new bullet train was an instant hit, reducing travel time between Japan's two largest cities from nearly seven hours to just under four hours in less than three years and transporting over a hundred million passengers. Currently, the same journey takes two and a half hours on a modern bullet train, though projections show that the new Chuo Shinkansen, Central Shinkansen line, will take only 67 minutes. Once operational, this highly advanced commuter will reach top speeds of 500 kilometers per hour, though a test run in 2015 set a world record of 603 kilometers per hour. To address this issue, Japanese engineers are hoping to infuse current trends with a technology dating back to at least the early 1900s, known as magnetic levitation, also known as maglev. As a matter of fact, maglev train constructs date back to the 1960s, whereas the world's first and so far only commercial maglev line, which runs between Shanghai city center and airport, has been in operation since 2004. Using superconducting magnets, the Central Japan Railway Company, or JR Central, has modernized this technology, where now, trains can levitate higher above the tracks because electromagnets are cooled to minus 269 degrees. However, it is ideal that the trains should be transitioning at speed before the magnets can be deployed. Hence, the maglev starts when the train reaches 150 kilometers per hour on its own, and the carriage is hoisted off its rubber wheels, forcing the train to interact with a set of coils in the track, one of which is used to levitate the train's mass and the other to propel it forward. The carriages can now travel at incredible speeds without the wheels on the fully autonomous trains, which are controlled by the track rather than a driver a feature that is believed to reduce the likelihood of collisions or accidents. Since 2014, the Tokyo Nagoya line has been under construction, and it is scheduled to open in 2027, whereas a second extension connecting Tokyo and Osaka will begin construction immediately after that and open in 2037, 10 years ahead of schedule. Unlike current bullet trains, which follow the Japanese coastline, the Chuo Shinkansen will be 90% underground, 
cutting through the Southern Alps, with tunnels that will cover 256 kilometers of the 285 kilometer line. This is done to, first of all, enhance the performance of the maglev, which evidently functions at optimum rates when traveling in the straightest line possible. Therefore, tunneling beneath the mountains avoids Japan's more earthquake-prone coast. However, by taking this approach, JR Central has ended up digging some of Japan's deepest tunnels, sparking a range of environmental concerns, particularly in Shizuoka Prefecture, where tunneling threatens the Oi River Basin, a major water source for the region. While environmental research has indicated that there is little risk of disturbing the basin, local governments have criticized these reports as insufficient and hasty. The resistance has been heavy, so much so that the incumbent governor of Shizuoka campaigned on a foundation that opposed the railway, winning the election on June 2021, in which the Chuo Shinkansen was a major issue. This conflict of interest, paired with unforeseen delays in the establishment of new stations, has elevated the project's cost from $13.7 billion to a staggering $64 billion, making it one of the most expensive megaprojects in the country's history. A cost that has compelled many Japanese people to wonder if the new line is even worth it. Obviously, there are several disadvantages to Japan's maglev system, and top of the list has to be the price tag. They will be costlier to operate than regular high-speed trains once they are completed because of their high energy consumption, though some argue that they will enable greater economic growth. Also, due to their smaller carriages, they will be unable to handle as many passengers and would be unable to travel as frequently. Along the Tokyo Osaka line, conventional bullet trains run every three minutes, but because maglev track transitions take longer, maglev trains will only be able to run once every 10 minutes. Since the introduction of the first bullet train in 1964, Japanese rail companies have previously been able to recoup a significant amount of money by exporting their technology. However, fierce competition has emerged on the scene in the form of the formidable Chinese nation. China is currently the undisputed king of high-speed rail, with the country housing two-thirds of the world's total high-speed network. While none of China's inner-city lines is maglev, the country is developing its own version of the technology. Back in July 2021, China had its own trial on the maglev train that reached 600 km per hour, nearly breaking Japan's record. In theory, the train could travel from Beijing to Shanghai in three and a half hours, compared to four and a half hours by plane. As things stand, China does not need to purchase Japanese technology, and the rest of the developed world is still catching up with regular high-speed rail. So, why is Japan so determined to build this maglev line, and why did the government provide JR Central with a loan to complete it 10 years ahead of schedule? Notwithstanding, when the bullet train was first built more than half century ago, the world laughed at it, but this technology progressively allowed Japan to grow by integrating regions and sharing prosperity. Japan's economy grew from 10% the size of the U.S. to the world's second largest in the decade following its opening. Should the Chuo Shinkansen be a success, then there is the potential to lessen the distance between Japan's two largest cities, effectively linking the Tokyo Osaka region. With this infrastructure, which has rapidly gained popularity and enticing nations, with its aesthetic and efficient allure, cities can be merged in a way that promotes the growth and establishment of economic powerhouses on an unprecedented scale. All in all, the efficacy of this technological sensation can only be appreciated in time. Should it work, Japan would be the grandmasters of a futuristic transport system that is definitely going to be the envy of a host of nations. The functioning of this multi-billion dollar levitating bullet train will invariably accentuate economic growth, foster faster commuting time, and promote infrastructural aesthetics. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to watch the next video on your screen, 
which looks into how Putin's invasion of Ukraine will change our world forever. As always, make sure to give our video a like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos.